by default when an email is sent from Outlook it will then be sent automatically to the recipient. For a very brief period of time it will reside in the outbox but generally this is only a very short period of time. The issue here can be the fact that if you sent the email in error or if you wish to make changes to the email then it's not possible because once the email leaves the outbox it is sent to the recipient. Generally then once it is sent it cannot be recovered or edited. So as an example of this I have an email here which I'm about to send. If we note that as soon as I push the send button you'll see the message briefly appear in the outbox and then disappear. This indicates that the message has been successfully sent from the mailbox. This doesn't allow me any option to recover that email or make changes as discussed. The way to overcome this is to include a delay in each email that is sent. To do that we need to create a rule. Go to Tools, Rules and Alerts, select the new rule button, select the option up the top to start a rule from a blank. Now select to check messages after sending and select next. Don't make any selections in the first window. Simply hit the next button. You'll be prompted with a message saying that this rule will apply to every message you send. This is what we want because we want to delay every message that we send by a number of minutes. So we select the yes button to continue. Here I select the bottom choice which gives me the option to defer delivery by a number of minutes. To select the number of minutes I go to the bottom box and click on the hypertext a number of. I can now adjust the amount of minutes that I want to defer my delivery by. In this case I'll set it to two minutes and then hit OK. Once complete I hit the next button. I don't want any exceptions to this rule so I'll hit the next button again. I'll now give my rule a name so that it makes it easy to identify and hit the finish button. You'll be prompted with a note that tells you that this rule you've created is a client only rule. This means it will only run when Outlook is operational. If you log on to another machine and use Outlook you would have to recreate the rule on that machine. Select OK. As you can see the rule now appears in the list. Go OK again. So now with my rule in operation if I now select an email and create something to be sent to someone. If I push the send button what you'll notice now is, is that the message actually remains in the outbox for the duration of the delay that I selected in my rule. I can now select the outbox this message is still here awaiting to be sent. I can double click on it, I can delete it, I can edit it, I can make do whatever I want. When I'm complete I can push send again and it will remain in the outbox again until that time period that I've specified in my rule has expired. At any stage you can adjust this delay by simply going back to the rule via tools, rules and alerts, select the rule and then go to change rule and edit the rule settings. Okay, so example I can click on the number 2 here and I can change that for example to 3 minutes instead of 2. Select OK, finish my rule. This rule will be applied to every message as we noted previously. It's a client side rule and again the rule has been updated and now I can go OK. So this now means that with this rule in place that any email that I sent will reside for a number of minutes in the outbox before it is actually on sent to a recipient. The benefit with this is it gives you the ability to make changes or to recover any messages that may have been sent in error. For all, more information about how to be more productive with emails please go to www.doemailless.com Please send all feedback to director at ciaops.com and keep up to date with what's going on via the blog. Thank you very much for watching this video.